James. Muller. John Muller. Not bad, huh? <laughs> All right, throwback Thursday. We're feeling good today. We pay tribute to the man, the icon, the legend, Bond, James Bond. The reason? It was 51 years ago today that Dr. No, the very first James Bond film, hit theaters here in the United States. My name is Bond, James Bond. My instructions were implicit. I was to leave for Jamaica in two hours, licensed to kill. The year 1963, the mission introduced American moviegoers to a secret agent who liked his martinis shaken, not stirred, his cars fast, and his women beautiful and dangerous. Bond was played by Sean Connery, and the so-called Bond girl was Honey Ryder, played by Ursula Andress. Yes, her name is a double entendre, and her voice isn't even hers. Andress had a heavy Swiss accent, so a voice actress read her lines and was dubbed into the film. This scene was voted number one in the hundred great greatest sexiest moments by fans in the UK. There may have been many incarnations of James Bond over the years, but the very first one actually appeared on the small screen. Yeah, 1954, when CBS paid a British author named Ian Fleming $1,000 to make his novel Casino Royale into a one-hour live TV adventure. It starred American actor Barry Nelson as Bond, and in this version, Bond became an American and was even called Jimmy by several characters. But the first actor to bring Bond to the big screen was Sean Connery. He starred as Bond in six films until 1972. Next up, the shortest-lived Bond, George Lazenby, who starred in the 1969 Bond movie on Her Majesty's Secret Service. He quit after one film. Roger Moore, who starred in seven Bond movies from 1973 to 1985. He was also the oldest actor to portray Bond. He was 45 when he was cast in Live and Let Die. Timothy Dalton was up next. He starred in two Bond films in 1987 and 1989. He channeled a more ruthless Bond, like the kind found in the original novels. Fans had to wait another six whole years for the next Bond movie, and this time it was Pierce Brosnan who took over the role. He starred in four movies, starting with Golden Eye in 1995 and ending with Die Another Day in 2002. Finally, the current James Bond, Daniel Craig. He has three Bond films under his belt from 2006's Casino Royale to 2012's Skyfall. Bond is known equally for his marksmanship as with his uh, way with women. He's killed 366 people and slept with 55 women. I don't like to brag. <laughs> other cool facts, Bond facts. Casino Royale's car barrel roll, that stunt with the Aston Martin DBS broke the world record for most barrel rolls assisted by a cannon. The car completed seven full rolls. And from the spy who loved me, the actor who played Jaws could only keep those teeth in for about 30 seconds at a time. The chain he bit through in the scene, it was made of licorice. That was a great scene. Bond could do things that most men can't, and that's part of his appeal. Yeah, well, he was helped along the way by some pretty cool toys, like this little ride in the spy who loved me. It's a Lotus Esprit with a unique feature. It can convert into a submarine. Pretty handy. Gotta get me one of those. He's also sort of superhuman and really lucky, like in Casino Royale when he fights a bad guy 200 feet above the ground on top of a crane. The bad guy runs out of bullets, throws the gun at Bond. Bond, of course, catches it, throws it back. A high-flying fight ensues, and guess what? Bond prevails. I kind of enjoyed this Bond thing. You know, if, if I'm James Bond, that would make you a Bond girl. It's probably the only time in my life somebody would think of me as a Bond girl, James. I mean, John. Nicely done. Probably the same thing with me and the James Bond. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. We'll be right back. Oh, James.